I don't want to, I'm not going to participate until the health officials say, you know, all clear. But, you know, if somebody else chooses to do that, you know, God bless you. You know, go ahead and have a good time. And, and certainly I hope that you are remaining healthy. But I, I just think that, if again, if they're going to do it, you really need to, to warn people, you know, just like you would if, if, if our show contained very graphic and, and, you know, and very lewd comments. We'd say, look, before you listen to our show, understand there's going to be all kind of F-bombs and G-bombs or whatever. So listen at your own risk. And it's the same thing with this. If you're going to go to the circus next week or if you're going to go to the, you know, to the club or whatever you're going to do, just understand these are some of the risks that are associated with, with this. So, you know, enter at your own peril. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right, right. Quick later, quick later. Uh, hump back, hump back, guy. Yeah, and and, and see, and again, um, <laughs> yep, but. Yeah, but 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 again, <laughs> no, but 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 again, it gets right back down to the personal choice thing. Um, you know, are you going to partake? You know, everything is open. Or are you going to stay home for a while? You know, because th this is going to have implications all up and down the, uh, all up and down the spectrum. You know, for example, tomorrow is church and, and uh, we're in March and we're coming up on Easter. So are a lot are a lot of people going to pack the churches for Easter? Because now now, granted, you may have by that time another, let's just say for the sake of argument, another three or four million people inoculated by by Easter, the way they're rolling the virus out. But again, that's a choice that people are going to have to make. Uh, am I going to go to church or is, is this going to be a, a virtual thing for me now? Sure you can. Sure you can. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you can still catch the virus and you can also still catch the virus. If you go somewhere you haven't had, hadn't had a shot, you've just decided the cabin fever has overtaken me and I'm going to go out here and do my thing. So, Absolutely. People can still catch this thing. It can still kill you. It can still put you down for a couple of weeks. And and again, people are going to have to make those decisions. Now, the sad thing is, is that, you know, there are unintended consequences when people do these things. So, for example, if I decide that I'm going to go to the, you know, the cookie bake off and it's going to be crowded and and more than likely people are not going to be masked there. There is a possibility that I can bring that home to my family, you know, or I could catch it. You know, um, my wife had a friend, uh, her best friend, uh, her her niece was in the um, in the school system back east. And, um, you know, she went to work and um, contracted it from one of the, it, looked, it appears from one of the kids, came home. Not only did she have it, 
but she gave it to her aunt, who was also had a host of medical challenges, you know, and it almost took her out. So what I'm saying is there are unintended consequences that can happen for this also. That's why, you know, we, you just got to implore people, please, please, please think about this. It might not get you. You may be that a, you know, that asymptomatic person that then brings it home to your family, you know, or nothing may happen to you. You might, you know, you might not ever be touched by COVID, which is what everyone hopes. But I just, again, I can't say it enough. It's a personal choice that people are going to have to make. Yep. So it, it you know, it, it, it's not going anywhere. Um, there are new strands popping up. And, um, you know, you you at least hope that the folks that, that don't believe in the in the vaccine may change their minds and go ahead and give it a shot. Excuse the pun. Um, you get that special. Excuse the pun. Shot. Excuse the pun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. But, uh, you know, uh, uh, again. I, I just I just hope that as more and more places open up, more and more people will just, you know, take a moment, say, you know, is there is there a member of my household that could be severely impacted by this? Is my you know, my mother has this ailment, my dad has that ailment. Well do is there a possibility that I could infect them? You know, 'cause I can't imagine unless you're some cold hearted bastard that you would be happy with yourself for coming home and giving that to your one of your parents or your daughter or, or whoever in your house has a compromise. Right. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean this is not you know, this is not a good this is not a good thing no matter how you cut it. You know? Uh it's good this thing is gonna be with us for a while because, you know, you still have a lot of people that are you you have probably just as many people who aren't gonna do certain things as you do that will do certain things so we'll still be in that quagmire of you know the the impact to the economy um you know some of the folks that don't want to go to school some of the parents that don't want to send their children to school for that very reason um you know so until they really are able to say hey it's all clear now folks you can go ahead and do your thing um it's going to be what you know this is what it is what it is Yep. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yeah. It's around the around right around the fourteenth of March, right around that time, that the uh, be, yeah because um, if I recall, the schools uh, decided in the middle of the week. You know, like on a Monday, they decided on Thursday don't come back anymore. You know, and 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 this is and that was it, and 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 you know, and, and one of the other things with this thing, not not only has it given people cabin fever, but it's it's been especially difficult for the the Las Vegas community, um, not only for the amount of people that were that actually caught it and passed away, but we had an exceptionally high level of suicides from young people, you know, during this COVID period. So you know this this has just been a really ugly thing, and it's it's been very destructive and disruptive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It it is. It 
it's going to create a lot of challenges, Shannon. You're absolutely right. Um, you know, you, you're going to have the, the hardcore folk that are just like, you can't make me do this. And then you're going to have others that will say, you know what? I still need to go get some some Lysol and a new television and some ink cartridges. So I'm going to go ahead and slap my mask on. Because, again, I don't want to catch it. And I don't want anybody in my house to catch it. Because I can tell you, you know, I'm sure we all know people that have caught it. And and we know some folks, some friends of ours that caught it really bad. I mean, to the point where they were in the hospital and so forth and so on. And the one thing that they said to a person is, you don't want no parts of this crap. This is just, I've never felt this bad in my entire being. And uh, you just do whatever you have to do to avoid it. So, um, you know, but again, some people have to touch the stove. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Pink eye. That's right. <laughs> that's that's better. That's right. Why why don't you eat it, Shannon? Why not? Please share with us. Come on. Let oh oh oh. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. You you did. Oh, now, you never heard of Scrapple? You know, now, uh, that that's understandable, but but I but I but I don't understand the Scrapple piece though. Scrapple is good. And, and Shannon really hadn't heard of that because you said Scrapple. She said, I love that game. Yeah, that's what she said. I love that game. I'm so good at it. Yeah. Oh, that's not the game. That's right. That's right. But you, you, but the good thing with Scrabble is, Shannon, is that you, you cut it off 